Welcome to another episode of Carbs here in Reckless Scene. The only show in the car and BS. Welcome to the Carbs. Go ahead and subscribe to our gaming channel, Zion Mainframe Gaming. Like, click the annotation right there. It'll take you over to our Let's Play channel, but it also has movie reviews and other miscellaneous forms of media reviews. But we are at KFC. I just had, like, the worst KFC experience. Granted, it wasn't really so much the fault of the people inside KFC. Every time I go to KFC, but at least this location by my place, I always get behind somebody who takes 30 years to order. And you know, it's an old, it was an old lady. And normally I'm very, very patient with old people because we're all gonna be there. We're all gonna be senile like that. And we're all gonna be dead soon. When that, when that time comes, you know, you gotta kind of respect them a little bit. But she goes up there and like the guy in front of her, cause there's three people in line total, one being myself, I was so sexy, I was so sexy. That guy, he just ordered, boom, done. She goes up and she goes, now, now she's talking like an old lady, so she's really quiet. So the, the woman up there kept going like, like, excuse me, like, what'd you say? I can't hear you. She goes, I want one order of a chicken, and I want, but I don't want, I don't want a side of corn. I want only mashed potatoes on. And then of course the woman go like, what? I can't. So she have to repeat it. Then she goes again, like the next video, and I want, oh, what's it called? What's it called? Oh, do you have the spicy chicken? Oh, okay, uh, I just want corn on that one, on the side, only corn. Like, I was there for 15 minutes, and you could tell, like, not only am I getting frustrated, but the woman working there is looking at me like, God damn it, like, God damn this person. So she orders, it was like four different meals with specific things on the side, when, like, this is a KFC, this isn't a sit-down restaurant, goddammit. But she orders all these specific things, and then, like, I'm about, it's my turn to walk up and order, and she's like, she starts talking again while I'm standing up there. God! Ah! <laughs> God damn it. Wow! Ah! <laughs> it's just, I hate, there's, because there's so many cool old people out there that are just, they're so cool, and then there's a lot of them that just, they're like, they ignore the world. Like, it's just the world revolves around them and that's it, it's all done. It's like, God, just next time have a game plan, old lady, please. Okay, so let's get off of that rant. We are, uh, at, like I said, at KFC and we're doing the Nashville hot chicken. Cause it's so hot. It's not Nashville though, so I'm not really sure why that's supposed to be like a thing. Uh, they gave me a side, I don't really care. I'm not, I'm probably just gonna take it home. Oh, it's mad, oh, it's coleslaw. Ugh. 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 Throwing that right in the trash. All right, let's get out our actual point of this thing. So it says, warning, you're about to taste the best spicy chicken you've ever had. Wow, that's a statement, KFC. That is a statement, I don't know about that. All right, let's get, Woo! it does smell. Yeah, you get that spicy smell going on. It looks really good, by the way. This is $5.50, so it better be amazing. Uh, they gave us our biscuit off to the side, but oh my god, look at the grease on that. Ugh. That is what that bad boy looks like. Just one giant chicken breast with, uh, with some jalapenos on it, I think. Nope, that's pickle. Oh god! Why must you forsake me? <laughs> I thought it was jalapeno. Jalapeno would be good. Alright, I'm just gonna have to kind of like pick it up and eat it like a Neanderthal. But I am gonna use my fork. Ah! Here we go, let's try it out. That's probably the best chicken from KFC I've ever had. The spice on it is very nice. The texture of the chicken is very well done. It's good. The, the highlight though is obviously it's that outside portion is just, wow, it's good. It's got a lot of flavor. Like I said, the spiciness really does kick in. This is really delicious. I quite like this a lot. It's better than their regular chicken and I actually do enjoy KFC a lot. Let's try it out, another bite. I really like this. I think overall that this improves what they already had quite well and if it wasn't for the experience with the old lady. And this would have been probably a really, really good experience. But I, I think that the flavor wise, this is definitely worth a release at KFC. I would give this a solid five. <laughs> Very tasty. This makes me want to try the chicken tenders version because obviously this is going to have bones in it and stuff and usually I prefer to get, unless it's a, a like a wing stop wing or something. Or what? Or or drum? What is it? I don't. I don't know. I just call them wings. Everybody's like, "There's no way they are sound. But uh, unless unless it's like that from a place like that, I prefer to chicken tenders. And uh, yeah, this is no exception. This is, whew, it's good. It does have a back of the throat burn. 
Overall, KFC, great, great job on this thing. You did, yeah, you hit a home run on this. This is very good. I think presentation-wise, maybe get rid of some of that grease. <laughs> but uh, besides that, I like it a lot. I think it's, I think it's well worth the price. So that's that. KFC review down the drain. Mad Zion here saying, what are your thoughts on this bad boy? If you've had it, let me know in the comments down below. See you on the next episode. Reckless eating. Reckless eating.